Hey, connection groups, it's a little silly to start with the only need to know I have, which is the priority of connection groups. That's a little silly to talk to you about that since you're already there. So instead of informing you about something, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you that, that you're living out what we say each and every week is our priority for this church family, for students and children and men and women and couples and people of all different age groups to be in relationship with one another in the local church. That's our goal. That's what we want. That's where we see the discipleship of Jesus really happening. So thank you for being in connections. Really appreciate you living that vision and that goal out. Moving on to the bonus resource questions. Number one, I want you to discuss times where you have tried to accomplish something by the power of the flesh, like willpower, by the power of legalism, like strict obedience, and then by the power of an active relationship with Jesus. How can you tell the difference? Question number two, is there anyone right in front of you? in your literal or in our campus living room that you are investing in or can invest in, those few remembering that it's not just okay if there's a few, like one or two, and you're not investing in everybody. That's kind of the principle that Jesus lived out for us. Even God himself had a small group, and even within that small group, he had the three. So please know that it's not like your list needs to or even should be 12, 14, 22 people long. Who are the few that God has put right in front of you that you're investing in? And then lastly, are there any of those five campus family specific things that we talked about that you can specifically take and take action on? Maybe in prayer or in support or in encouragement? How can this group that you're in help you take that kind of action? I love you guys. I'm proud of the way, again, like I started with, the way you're living out the vision of this local church. Have a great week.